Present day parades in the Marine Corps have their bases in both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle loaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that a line of two or three ranks and looks much like the parade formations you will see today. The adjutant forms the line for battle. The command signed off to the the game to parade forward of the Cambridge Marines while playing military marching music. This teacher is believed to have a brief and a crusade. Prior to their embarkation, volunteer troops were formed on the right between the band and the other troops. As an honor to the volunteer, the band was quite the same period of the following day signed off while the other troops cheated for the time. To further honor the volunteer, the band was
Headquarters of Service Company, all present, all accounted for. I'm company, all present, all accounted for. Bravo Company, all present, all accounted for. Attention to order! Headquarters and support battalion, Marine Corps Installation Squad, Marine Corps Base Camp Penalty 20 June 2019. The officer of the day today is Staff Sergeant Vigo. The officer of the day tomorrow is Staff Sergeant Ramirez. By order of Philip G. Entertainer. Colonel, United States Marine Corps Commander, Officer, Standard, March. Ladies and gentlemen, now taking his position in the reviewing area is the commanding officer of headquarters and support battalion, Colonel Philip G. Antikaya. Sergeant Sager, front and center, march! 
Since 1875, non-commissioned and staff non-commissioned officers have carried the non-commissioned officer sword as a symbol of their ability and prestige as enlisted leaders of the Marine Corps. The sergeant major as a senior enlisted leader and advisor is the keeper of traditions for his or her unit. Today's emblematic passing of this sword of office signifies the transfer of this sacred trust from one sergeant major to another. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major Ernest W. Rose, Jr. Effective 10-100, 20 June 2019, you will stand relieved from your duties as the Battalion Sergeant Major, Headquarters and Support Battalion, Marine Corps Installations West, Marine Corps Base, Camp Pendleton. Signed, Robert B. Miller, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. From Commandant of the Marine Corps to Sergeant Major Eric L. Darnstadt, effective 10-01-20 June 2019, you are directed to assume your duties as Battalion Sergeant Major, Headquarters and Support Battalion, Marine Corps Installations West, Marine Corps Base, Camp Pendleton. Signed, Robert B. Miller, General, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps. Good morning, sir. Sergeant Major Darmstadt reporting as the new Sergeant Major. Good morning, sir. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Marine, to be decorated, retired. Presents the command. Aye, sir. Reset! Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of our national anthem. You are reminded that if not in uniform, please place your right hand over your heart.
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Commandant of the Marine Corps, the President of the United States, takes pleasure in presenting the Legion of Merit to Sergeant Major Ernest W. Rose, Jr., United States Marine Corps, the service as set forth in the following citation. For exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service while serving as Sergeant Major Headquarters and Support Battalion, Marine Corps Installations West, Marine Corps Base, Camp Pendleton, California, from February 2017, to June 2019. Sergeant Major Rose's superior leadership and exceptional managerial acumen significantly contributed to the successful accomplishment of Headquarters and Support Battalion's mission. He ensured that all missions and support requirements were executed while maintaining high morale throughout the battalion. His commitment to excellence and engaged involvement inspired the 1,300 members to continually improve functional area processes, resulting in a vast increase in the overall effectiveness of the support provided to one Marine Expeditionary Force and other entities aboard Marine Corps Base Camp Pendleton. As a result, the command earned numerous accolades for its exceptional accomplishments across a range of disciplines. An influential leader and wise counselor, he exhibited empathy and honesty while treating all personnel assigned to the battalion fairly and equitably. His fingerprint can be seen in the unit's successes in personnel readiness, annual training, daily operations, and the battalion's core mission. Few Marines of his rank have met such success in a unit as varied. His superior performance of duty during this tour is the hallmark of a career devoted to accomplishing broad and diverse tasks in combat and peace, highlighting the culmination of 28 years of honorable and faithful service. By his dynamic direction, keen judgment, and loyal devotion to duty, Sergeant Major Rose reflected great credit upon himself and upheld the highest traditions of the Marine Corps and United States Naval Service for the President, Robert B. Miller, Commandant of the Marine Corps. United States Marine Corps, Sergeant Major Ernest W. Rose, Jr. was transferred this state from the U.S. Marine Corps to Fleet Marine Corps Reserve after 28 years of honorable and faithful active service. Robert B. Miller, Commandant of the Marine Corps. United States Marine Corps Certificate of Authenticity presented to Sergeant Major Ernest W. Rose, Jr., United States Marine Corps, in grateful recognition and appreciation of 28 years of your exemplary and honorable service. I hereby certify that this flag was flown over Marine Corps Installations West, Marine Corps Base, Camp Pendleton, California, on 14 June 2019. K.J. Pillay, Brigadier General, United States Marine Corps, Commanding General. Ladies and gentlemen, the commanding officer of headquarters and support battalion, Colonel Antipayer. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. General Clay, Sergeant Major Hackett, distinguished guests, friends, family. Uh, what an honor for me to be here today with all of you for the relief and appointment ceremony for Sergeant Major Rose and Sergeant Major Darmstadt as well as for the uh, retirement ceremony of Sergeant Major Rose. So as I was preparing remarks, this was particularly difficult for a couple of reasons. The first one that came to mind is that Sergeant Major Rose and I, during our time together with the county, had attended many, many retirement ceremonies, changes of command, relief and appointments. 
And after each one, we'll talk amongst ourselves and see if the retiring official has made the mark. If they've accurately captured what the Marine has accomplished, the impact that she or he has had on their unit. And so sometimes these critiques are very thorough. And so right now I fear that I may not make the mark, but I'll do my best for representing Sergeant Major Rose and all that he has accomplished here over his 28 years of, of service. Um, so it's for that reason that I'm intimidated by all of you, not because of the cameras, but whether or not I will live up to uh, my duties here as a retiring officer. So I prepared just a few comments to try and capture what, what Sergeant Major Rose has accomplished. Um, today, again, it's the relief and appointment. So I want us to walk away with a sense of what Sergeant Major Rose has meant to the battalion to the Marine Corps, but at the same time to welcome Sergeant Major Johns back. And with that level of confidence from me to you that the battalion was well led, well run, well supported by Sergeant Major Rose, and that we're in equally capable hands as we move forward for the next year. So when we look in the program at the 28 years that Sergeant Major Rose has served, we won't go through the, the duty stations, but it's, it's as for any Marine that has served that long, it's an impressive array of duty stations starting on the West Coast, the service overseas, Okinawa, back and forth to Camp Pendleton, recruiting duty, Iraq, Afghanistan, back to Camp Pendleton, over and over. So it's impressive. We could go through the exercises, the operations that you supported, but that's not really what I want to say here. I want to just offer my perspective on that impact that he has made for all of us within the battalion. And it's not just the legacy of superior service that he has demonstrated, but it's also the, the family values, for Sarah and her family, and for Luke and Jack and Nathan and Maddie, and for Chris. What I want you to take away is how much your father, your husband, meant to us here at the battalion. And that is what has been one of the most impressive things for me serving with Star Major Rose, is that he's been able to balance his time in the Marine Corps with the family and do so well as a role model, as a Marine for the time, but as a father and as a husband. So, we're not going to go through minute by minute or exercise by exercise to talk about his accomplishments as a communicator or as a first sergeant or as a sergeant major, but I just want to give kind of perspective from where I sit on why he has made such a positive, impressive impact on the Marine Corps. And if you look at it, from age 20, until today, you can do the math to figure out how old he is. He's, uh, he served in uniform throughout his 20s, 30s, and 40s. He's made sacrifices for himself, for his family, and yet he continues to serve. One of the things that is most impressive for me about Sergeant Major Rose is that he looks out to the Marines regardless of how they're doing. He'll spend an equal amount of time on Marines that are being prepped for meritorious promotion, we're in the quarter and to the worst, but equally for those that need our assistance that may be facing jeopardy or administrative separation, that he cares about all the Marines and sailors within the dying within the Corps. And with that, the wise counsel and advice that he's provided, not just for his peers or his seniors, but for supporting Marines and sailors everywhere. And his reputation is not just strong in the battalion, but it's throughout MCI West, across Camp Pendleton, and throughout the Corps, when you mentioned Sergeant Major Rose's name. And these aren't just words. It became very apparent to me last summer when I came in. And I had senior leaders from other units come up to me and tell me how fortunate I was to have Sergeant Major Rose on the team because of his reputation, because of the impact that he had on the Corps. And it's not just about who you know, but about that influence, that positive influence. And Sergeant Major Rose, you've made that influence for the battalion, for the Corps. So you should have no doubt when you walk away today and the impact that you've had for all of us. I want the family to know that. For everyone here in attendance, you're probably attending because you already know that. Uh, but what you've done for us is nothing short of spectacular. And I'm thankful for the mentorship and guidance that I've received from Sergeant Major Rose over the last year. Most grateful because of what he's provided, not just the time, but myself. And I look back and I was kind of comparing Mark, and I thought, nothing truer than 
I can consider myself a veteran Marine, having served with you in battalion veterans, that's what you've done for us. So the takeaway, and no surprise, is that Sergeant Major Rose's service over 20 years, 28 years, has been nothing short of spectacular. Set the example of high degree of honor, and dignity, and respect for those who served with him. All the while he's been able to achieve that with a balance of support for his family and the Corps. But he's not done yet. He'll continue to serve his community, perhaps the military, but our country as a proud member of uh, society. And again, we have to remember today it's not all about Sergeant Major Rose, but the Sergeant Major Garm staff. I'm proud to welcome you here to the battalion, to the MCI West team, to Camp Pendleton. You've got a stellar reputation. I know you're going to do great things for us. So with that, congratulations to our Major Rose and welcome. Good morning, uh, Commanding General. Thank you for coming out, Sergeant Major Hackett, Sergeant Major Mesa, Commanders, Officers, Staff and CEOs, Friends, Family, Dead. Uh, I want to say. It's, Hard following up after Sergeant Major Rose. Sergeant Major Rose has a sterling reputation, and uh, everybody knows him from coast to coast, even overseas, about what a uh, great reputation he has. Now, Sergeant Major Rose reminds me of that old lion that sits on top of the hill with his sage not knowledge and his calm, quiet demeanor. He just makes things happen. And pretty soon, he's going to be that sage lion wearing some big attire and a beard. But for some reason, whenever enlisted Marines are tired, they all grow a beard. I don't understand it yet, but in about three more years, I'll figure it out. Okay, so Sergeant Major Rose has done phenomenal things for the battalion. Him, Colonel Antifire, Lieutenant Colonel Carter have laid down a, a tremendous foundation, and I plan on jumping right on that foundation and building upon the foundation and being a part of the team. My goal while we're here at Headquarters Support Battalion is to build a family and be part of a family and be something that's a part of something that's real, unique, genuine, and sincere, and it's already there. So all I got to do is go ahead and at least maintain the status quo, which is going to be tough to do following up the Sergeant Major Rose. Now, I will say that I plan on uh, and intend on building upon those Marine 101 things. I plan on doing the PFT, the CFP, the right to read, the pistol read, the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program, and focus on things that make us the elite war fighters that the American people demand and deserve. That's what being a Marine is all about. It's not just coming in at 730 and punching 5 to 16. You've got to hit all those other Marine rickets that make us the most elite war fighting force on the face of planet Earth. And I will say to the Marines and sailors, I expect great things from you. It's great to see that we're still upholding history, customs, courtesies, traditions, and this ceremony in accordance with Marine Corps Apollo 56020 Delta. It would change as much before. That's what we do as Marines. So with that being said, I plan on getting to know each and every Marine in the battalion. I plan on working on our professional relationships and being a part of something that's genuine and sincere. So once again, Marines, look forward to seeing you. I'm going to be out and about starting next week. We go ahead and shake everybody's hand and look you in the eyes and, and tell you what I expect from you and you tell me what you expect from me. So I look forward to eat, uh, working with all your war fighters. So with that being said, today it's not about me. It's about honoring Sergeant Major Rose and his dedication to the battalion over the last two years and his 28 years of honorable and faithful service. I know I'm the opening act and you guys are waiting for the headliner, so I'm going to go ahead and end this thing real quick. Okay, so Marines, Semper Fidelis, Semper Fortis, have a good day for our God, country, core, being out of the highest position. Look forward to your work with each and every one of you. Sergeant Major Rose, you're take a selfie with you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to take a selfie with you guys. Alright. I was choking up. You know what? I was choking up during the ceremony. So, well, first of all, sir, General, uh, General Clay, Sergeant Jagger, uh, thanks for coming. And for everybody else, I'm not going to do the senior loop. Hey, everybody that came here today, uh, I can't tell you how, how much that means to me. I see a lot of people over there, uh, and I see some empty seats. We could have closed it in a little bit. Uh, someone wasn't taking charge. So, uh, yeah. So I was choking up during the ceremony, right when the band stopped in the middle and they started to do their thing. That's when I started choking up. Got some goosebumps. Um, 
It's not bittersweet. This is sweet. This is sweet. Um, I can't tell you how, how I've enjoyed myself over the 28 years. Uh, I don't know who the CEO was talking about uh, in his speech. Um, you know, there was ups and downs. There was some rough, rough times. You know, I wasn't always a perfect Marine. I don't think anybody ever is. I mean, there was, there was definitely some ups and downs. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I'm standing before you, um, a, a father, uh, a husband, and, and, and I'm proud of that. And uh, wow. So, all right. I, I want to thank some organizations. I, I'm going to point out organizations, not necessarily, necessarily people. Um, you know who you are. Uh, I want to thank you. I'm going to start off with uh, the MCCS team uh, that support uh, the battalion. Uh, you got Marine Corps Family Team Building. Uh, under that, you got the Family Advocacy, the Behavioral Health People, Substance Abuse Center, the Marine Intercept Program. Uh, you have the Transition Readiness Team, which helps out Marines when they're getting out of the Marine Corps. They do a phenomenal job at doing that and setting them up for success. Um, we have Backyard Benefits here, who uh, sponsors our battalion. And uh, I don't know where they're getting this money, but they throw tons of money at these young Marines. Uh, to the point where you have to like, yeah, you can't give them that much money. You can only give them this much money. So there's some rules uh, along with that. So uh, Backyard Benefits, thank you. Uh, Armor of Light, they're going to feed you, uh, right? They also sponsor the battalion, and they're going to feed you right after this. So I think they got some tri-tip and chicken. Uh, they always uh, participate. Uh, in our ceremonies within the battalion, and um, they, they make it just that much better. Um, and so uh, please thank them and their crew. Uh, they're all volunteers over there. Uh, it's right across the street in the road that you so please thank them for uh, what they do. Uh, Ladies of the Vine, uh, they do uh, baby showers for the battalion. So pregnant Marines and spouses, they uh, offer up baby baskets. Uh, they give away car seats, all, all kinds of stuff, just to get those uh, parents started uh, on the right track. You know, I, I personally know how hard that is uh, financially, and, and they get them uh, started pretty quick, so it's kind of a jump start. I want to thank the ladies of the barn. Uh, I'm not sure if Vance is here, but out in Oceanside, the, the veterans, uh, there she is, uh, Veterans Association out there. Uh, they assist Marines in the transition process also. And in hard times, they, they give them a lot of help uh, right out there in Oceanside on Mission Avenue. And uh, they've helped me personally, and I appreciate that, so thank you for that. Uh, USO Board Camp Pendleton, they're always providing great services for Marines. Again, transition, setting those uh, young Marines that are getting out of the Marine Corps up for success. Uh, and they do a great job at that. And they just opened us the first one on a Marine Corps base uh, right over here at the USO. So those are the organizations, and then now I have some personal, and those were all personal relationships with those folks, but I have some uh, daily contact with some of these guys. And I want to thank and point out, uh, I have three first sergeants in this battalion. First Sergeant Johnson with Bravo Company, First Sergeant Ferrer with h &S Company, and First Sergeant Humphreys with Alpha Company. And they do the dirty work. They run this battalion, uh, and they run their companies uh, with ease, and, and I couldn't have asked for better leaders. Uh, they they worked directly with me in trying to get uh, momentum within the battalion and make sure that the Marines are taken care of. And they, uh, you know, they have they have the forked tongue, so they they have, you know, when the Marines in trouble, they're like, hey, we should hammer them. And the Marines are doing good, hey, we should uh, you know pat them on the back. So they they get all of that uh, going on, and, and and they do a great job at it. And they they've helped me. Uh, do my job, and I've learned a lot from them. So first off, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, and they put this ceremony together. So what you see out here is not typical. This is an NCO parade. These are all E5s and below. Young Marines with about four or five years in the Marine Corps. Typically, this is ran by staff and CO, senior staff and CO, general sergeants, master sergeants, and things like that with upwards of 20 years in the Marine Corps. I was confident, and I wanted to showcase the abilities of the young Marines, that we could trust them to lead the future Corps. And we should trust them to do things like this, whenever we need them to do it, to include going into country, 
and fighting the enemy. They are still the backbone of the Marine Corps. So please give them a round of applause. And that young Marine standing right out, uh, she's actually behind the color guard right now, Sergeant Martinez is doing a phenomenal job along with the staff. Uh, Mass on Gray, who is our, uh, uh, will always be my narrator, or used to always be my narrator. Uh, she has a calm voice, will almost, almost make you feel uh, warm and fuzzy if you could use that uh, when she's talking. Uh, she's always been a great narrator, and I picked her, hand picked her for that one. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Mass on. I want to thank the MCI West staff. Uh, so your staff has, uh, has always supported the battalion. Uh, we work on some communication uh, issues, but it, it, we, we have always got what we needed uh, to, to make the battalion what it is. And uh, I'll, you know, if there was anybody here from the MCI West staff, I want to appreciate that. It's our hired headquarters. Uh, they run Camp Pendleton and many other bases in the, in the, in the, in the area and they do great at making this thing work. Um, I have my own battalion staff, uh, the S1 shop, the, the security manager, the legal team. Uh, I know you're out there, I see you. Um, they have made, uh, I, I would say, my job and the CEO's job pretty easy. Uh, they come with the, the right solution. With, they have a problem, they always have a solution. They over, always offer the solution and it's usually spot on. So appreciate that for the time staff. All right, Mr. Petey. So that gentleman over there with the gray hat. This guy has been setting up ceremonies. Uh, he does all the logistics. Uh, he's designated as our education officer. I don't know how many Marines you sent through education programs, but you do some phenomenal ceremonies. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you what, he's a retired Master Gunnery Sergeant, uh, 30 years, and he has served, how many years are we at now? So, 45? Holy, no. 45 years, and he's been doing ceremonies. He's about to retire next month. I'm sorry, first sergeant you got to take on the ceremony, <laughs> uh, I, Hey, just to be you. You're an awesome man, and I appreciate it, and I love you. Um, First Marine Division Band. The reason why this ceremony is happening on a Thursday by some Friday is I got trumped, and they weren't going to be able to show up on a Friday, so I moved my ceremony to Thursday, and here they are. So please give them a round of applause. And I want to talk, uh, let me talk about Colonel Caldero first. He couldn't be here today. Uh, he's fighting war somewhere, uh, you know, uh, secret stuff. Uh, so he couldn't make it out of here, uh, here from Florida. Uh, I, I've been lucky enough to have some great commanding officers. Um, I've always gotten along with them. I've always had a good time with them. Uh, but my, my last two, uh, Colonel Caldero was a great man. And, uh, and, and he was missed, and, and I'm sad he couldn't be here today, but it was a great relationship. And then I get lucky again, and I get Colonel Anzakire. And, uh, you know, we see eye to eye on almost everything. And uh, when he doesn't see eye to eye with me, uh, he's usually wrong. Uh, <laughs> and so, and, and he feels that, he feels that pain. So I, I'm the one, I would definitely say I told you. Uh, <laughs> And so you watch, yeah, you got a phenomenal family, and, and you know, he'll, he'll be retiring next year sometime. 
and uh, we've been, uh, he, he's been asking me about my transition process. It is harder to get out of the Marine Corps than it is to stay in, believe it or not. Um, so he's been watching the pain, the agony that I've been going through, trying to just retire. That's all I want to really retire. Um, and so, uh, sir, it's been a pleasure working with you, and, and, and I think we're going to be friends for uh, forever. So I, I appreciate that, and I will always stay in contact with you. Um, Dad. All right, this is when my mom cried. I might have cried. <laughs> it's gonna be good. Um, you know, I, I I was I was blessed to have parents that cared, um, that brought me up with uh, values that were, you know, and morals that were 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 on point. You know, they it would do the right thing, work hard. And uh, you will get what you what you what you deserve. Um, and I didn't really follow that. <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I fought the system for a little while, but um, you know, I, I made a decision to join the Marine Corps right during Desert Storm, and they thought I was losing. They they but like you've lost your mind. Um, and and Desert Storm ended, and I was still in boot camp, and. Um, you know, if you, if you talk to them, they're like, I can't believe you, you turned out the way you did, you know, because I, I was not uh, the greatest, the greatest teenager. Um, but I always had the values. I've always had, you know, that's what I learned, you know, that's what I got from them. They, they pass that on, and hopefully I pass it on to the kids, um, because what great examples of parents. I, I couldn't ask for anything more. Um, you've been there my entire life, and... Uh, I can't thank you enough for what you've instilled in me. So, so thank you very much, and I love you. Um, to my and right next to them, I have my in-laws, Alan and Susan. Uh, thank you for giving me your daughter. <laughs> and you supported our family, you know, just as much. And I, and I love you, and thank you for, for being here. And I got my my uncle. My, my dad's brother, uh, Pat, and his wife, Rhonda, my aunt. And I want to thank you for, for traveling down and, and coming with us. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome to see you, and, and thank you for that. And for the rest of the family, um, the, uh, I see some, some brother-in-laws and some sister-in-laws and, and some friends. I appreciate you coming out here today. And to my kids, uh, Chris, Maddie, Jack, Mason, Luke, uh, and Leanne, welcome. Um, wow, you guys have been great. You make me laugh every day, you know. Uh, not necessarily at home, but I laugh when I go to work. <laughs> uh, stuff to do. Uh, very, very creative, very creative kids. Uh, my son, uh, Chris, is a musician. Um, and he's uh, done some just unbelievable stuff. My daughter, Maddie, uh, she'd be a volleyball player. She's a volleyball player, club volleyball, uh, outside hitter, and she is. She's amazing, and I love you. Uh, Jack and Mason, very creative individuals. Uh, they are all over the video game scene, that's for sure. Uh, but man, my son Jack just won a uh, short film for Southern California. He did a short movie and won uh, first place in that. And then uh, my son Mason is an unbelievable uh, artist. And uh, my son Luke, you're up and coming. We don't know what uh, he is. <laughs> he is smart. He is smart. He's whipped, what I tell you. He's He's an awesome kid. Um, and to my wife, babe, I am in love as you, with you as, as, as the same as the, the first day I met you. I'll never forget that. Um, and I can't wait uh, for what comes next. I, I truly love you uh, and what you do for our family. Uh, you are the backbone of everything that happens in our family. You, you, you are the engine that makes it come. Uh, that, that's, that's for sure. Uh, without you, I don't know that I'd be standing here. That, that, is, that is the truth. I don't know that I'd be standing here today uh, without you. So you push, you push, and you push. Uh, you got me through some trying times, and you're always there and on it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Man, Psalm 8 John said, Yeah, wrap these turn over. Uh, the reason why is because that man, Sergeant Major Mesa, planned his retirement last week and 
it's definitely your fault, man, because I couldn't get him where I needed him to get in order to teach him what this battalion was about. Um, but hey, uh, if you need me, I'm right outside the gate. I'm not going anywhere, um, and, and that's the God's honest truth. I know you don't even have your email set up. I couldn't send you anything, uh, but whatever you need, uh, I'm here for you. And so the many other friends that I have uh, in the crowd, and I see quite a few, and I see you, um, I want to thank you. I've had some longtime friends. I have some childhood friends in the, in the crowd right now. Um, Misty, kindergarten, right? Holy smokes. <laughs> kindergarten uh, and many others. And uh, Marine, I thank you for letting me serve this battalion uh, for the past couple years. And uh, I want to thank the Corps, and I'm very grateful that the Corps allowed me to stay as long as they allowed me to stay. And I appreciate it. So with that being said, uh, I love you all. Semper Fidelis. Ladies and gentlemen, the family of Sergeant Major Rose are now being presented the following Certificate of Appreciation. United States Marine Corps Certificate of Appreciation presented to the Rose family for unselfish, faithful, and devoted support throughout your loved one's distinguished career. As the family of a Marine, you bore the hardships of separation and move that come with being a part of a Marine family. Today, your larger Marine family wants to recognize your high character, unselfish and caring nature, and mature attitude. Sergeant Major Rose's contribution to our Corps was made possible in part because of you. Unlike your loved one, you were not a volunteer. But just like your loved one, your contribution to the nation is significant. Our Marine Corps and the fellow citizens of this nation are indebted to you and grateful. Enjoy the freedoms that Sergeant Major Rose has fought for, your family embrace, and our country holds dear. You are most deserving. On behalf of all Marines, I say thank you and Semper Fidelis. Philip G. Antikaya, Colonel, United States Marine Corps, Commanding Officer, Headquarters and Support Battalion, Marine Corps Installations West, Marine Corps Base, Camp Pendleton, California. Now taking his position in the viewing area is Colonel Philip G. Antipoli. March, the command, and review. Ladies and said. gentlemen, as a reminder, please rise as the colors pass in front of your position and remain standing for anchors away and the Marine Pen. <laughs> 